Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is K-pop with Khadija. I'm Khadija and today we are going to not be listening to some K-pop. We're not doing that right now. I am just here to let you know it will be my birthday! Yay! Hooray! Birthday! And I want to celebrate with all of you. So this Saturday, December 2nd, I'm going to be going live on Twitch at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna be checking out some birthday themed reactions. We're gonna play some games. There will be opportunities for you to give me direct requests, anything that you think I will love to see. The best birthday gift that I can possibly get is gonna be good music. Make sure you have some delicious food, get some snacks, get some drinks, have some kind of dessert for when we do cake. And yes, I will see you all Saturday, December 2nd at 6 p.m. on Twitch. Cause it's my birthday, yay! <laughs> okay, see you there, bye. It's your birthday, it's your birthday, it's your birthday, it's your birthday. We are checking out all of the performances from Boys Planet episode six and episode seven, those were the dual position battles and I love them so much. If you've been watching Boys Planet with me over on Twitch or over on Patreon, you've like witnessed my journey as I've fallen in love with the idols and the contestants more and more. And like these performances, absolutely shifted like so many of them that i kind of didn't even notice before i was like wait a minute i love them and then the ones i already loved i was like wait a minute i love them <laughs> so yeah that's what we're doing today i'm feeling like a little bit under the weather and i was like it's saturday and i'm sick what do i want to do i want to watch boys planet so we're gonna go through all of the performances in order from the beginning all the way in the like the order that they showed on the show and that's it that's all there's there's nothing really more to say that's what we're doing today and i'm so excited i'm so excited okay uh let us start the first one was gang higher music oh so good okay no we're gonna watch it and then i will share my thoughts as we watch it I will put the chat here if anyone pops up. I'm filming these while on Twitch right now. So if anyone pops in and wants to share their thoughts while I'm filming, they're free to do that. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Like, you just see a different side of all of them in these performances. It's so cute, hey. Oh my gosh. Get it. Oh, they're so cute. Look how cute! Okay, they're like very cute in this performance. I keep saying that. Hey. Come on! <laughs> so funny. Hey. 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 Oh, he sounds amazing. Come on. Get it. Like a star. As silly and funny, just a whole star. Too cute. Hey, hey, hey. This is a hard song. I mean, it's like, it's really high energy. 
They're getting tired. I would be tired. Hey. Oh, you're so tired. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Gosh, you're pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo! Uh-huh. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, that's... <clears throat> that song is not an easy song. And I feel like... I think it was very cute i said that so many times i think it was very cute the song itself is really hard there's like a hardness to it and then the choreography in my head like it's very hip-hop it's very like but they kind of didn't quite hit it the way that i would think that choreography would be hit if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense but just it was not fully in it in it and that that I'm not mad at it. Like, I'm not saying that as though it's bad. I'm just like, I'm acknowledging that the song itself was very high energy. The choreography was very high energy. The choreography was hard hitting. So like, you can't kind of just like float through it. You have to give it the whole time. And so like, by the end of the song, they're like running out of breath, which I would be too, bitch. That was hard. It was cute. I think of all the performances, even watching the show, that one was not my favorite. So... I don't know, but I'm really excited. Ah, Zoom is next. That one was really good. Actually, looking at the list now, I'm like, they just get better and better as the show goes on. Okay, so we're going to do the Zoom performance now. Y'all, I literally love this show so much. I cannot explain. I'm still talking. I cannot explain how much I love this show. <laughs> it has been so much fun watching this. Oh. Lights, camera, action. Get it. They're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they killed this. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh! Umuti is a star. There's just something about him. It's like not exactly what I would expect from an idol, but he's just so good. Hey. Let's get my action, baby. Come on, Kate. I love him so much. Oh, he's eating. Oh, my cute boy. Oh my god! Little just, little just only want to take him home. Listen to that tone. It just works, man. Mm-hmm. And they look really good together, too. Okay, that fucking falsetto. Hey, hey. Hey! Yo! Oh my god! Wait a minute! <laughs> so 
Hey. <laughs> Listen. Oh my gosh. That was that was so much better than the clips that they showed on the show, I think. I remember loving it when I was watching episode six, but like that was even better. They, so this is the difference, right? Not that we need to compare or whatever, but this is like having energy that starts off kind of at a certain level and then it builds throughout the entire performance, right? So by the end, it's just so hype and the audience is so excited. Like that's what you want from any performance. Doesn't matter what genre, doesn't matter like what tempo of song. You want an ex experience that builds from the beginning to the end that the audience feels like you went through like a journey and by the end you're like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. That's what that was. It was so good. They all sounded really strong. Their rap was like, they were very in the pocket for the most part. Keita was just eating. When I say eating, I don't mean like everyone's like, eh, he ate. Like, I mean like his, his, his delivery, the way that he is saying the words, it's like he's biting at all the consonants, right? Oh, so good. And then the choreography, like they were so tight. It was so together and it just built. And oh my God, that was so good. Now I kind of like, no, as I watch, I'm going to see the other ones and be like, I love the way that it went. But I kind of wish that they had gotten higher scores for that because it was really good. All right, we're going to do home. Okay, okay, sorry. This performance, I'm so excited about. Like, I love the whole story of like them trying to do 17's choreography and then being like, mm, it's not working. But then what they ended up doing was so different and it was so perfect. It was beautiful. I'm like, it created, again, it created an experience, right? It was a whole different like feeling and vibe to the song. I'm so excited to see it. Honestly, this show is so... I keep doing this to myself. The show is so good. This show is phenomenal. And just the way that the challenges go and the way that you see their artistry, like this one having to take it and kind of create your own choreography, create your own lyrics, whatever, like make it your own and just watching the way that they did that. Like, I love it so much. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Like, it's beautiful. Even just the whole, like, stage design, right? Really soft lighting. Ugh. So pretty. And Jay just sounds amazing! like it's so soft it's soft and it's pretty oh. hey Hey. Hey, hey. This is really interesting. This this song is very high for all of them. Mm-hmm. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. This placement was so hard. Even Jay, right? His voice is so beautiful and big and open, but this song was like just placed so high. Chong Wu is a superstar. This whole performance, this is his. Come on. Oh. Oh. Are we crying? Is anyone crying? It's so good. Hmm. 
moments, right? That's so good. Cute. <laughs> These fucking ending fairies, I can't. Hey, thanks. Adorable. Yeah, that again, I think all of these groups that got songs that were not their first choice that were a little bit more difficult like vocally difficult or the choreography was difficult or whatever seeing the way that they took it and reworked it and changed it to make it their own and this one is not even like they it was jongwoo 100 like he he created something that is so good from like oh we're struggling like we are really struggling but like created space space and time and an energy that like allowed them to really focus on like i have to hit those notes that are a little bit outside of my range but like at least i'm not like doing 17 barrel rolls while i'm trying to sing <laughs> like ah uh, it was just beautiful and again it created an atmosphere a feeling for the audience that like by the time you got to that that like big note and then him doing the little choreography in the middle like it just felt like <gasps> A moment mm, I love it okay next is I'm going a little bit fast because I do have a meeting later and I'm trying not to be late for my meeting because I'm watching boys planet so yeah we're gonna do love killer next I'm excited about this one too I'm excited about all of them I don't need to keep saying I'm excited because uh, oh this gorgeous man Hey, hey. Did I make you anxious? Oh, that just. Hey. They're so good. <laughs> I'm not dead. Ah, ah. This is too good. Take your time, but they're so good. Hey, this choreography. Oh. Not, they're in a little groove, right? Hey. Come on, Matthew. Beautiful. Hey. Yes. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on. Hey. Oh my god, Matthew's vocals. Hey. Oh my gosh. I like all of them. This group, I love all four of them. Hey. Why is Jiwoon's jacket so much shorter than everyone else's? And where's his shirt? Yes, you did. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> He's so funny. So this is what stresses me out. After I watched these performances, I'm watching episode eight, which is the next elimination episode. And I kept saying it all through episode six, episode seven. I was like, they just keep getting better. Like as we eliminate people, it's just going to be the highest ranked contestants, which means it's just going to be better and better and better as the performances go on. 
and it hurts my heart like looking at the four of them i'm like i don't want any of them to be eliminated but obviously there are only nine people in zero base one so a lot of people are gonna get eliminated and it just i'm stressed already okay okay it was so good there's something I think all four of them, there's something in their performance quality that's like, it's not like the ace, the ace group. They have this like fire in the way that they perform. They didn't have that like fire. I don't know if that's the right word to explain what I'm trying to say, but there was an energy in it that was just like they were in this cut. Everything was so like sharp and clean and also kind of sensual as it should be. And just, oh, they were amazing. And Matthew sounds so good which i always from episode one maybe it's maybe it's the canadian connection but i'm like i just love him so much his voice is beautiful mm. okay we're gonna do law next these were all yeah episode seven started with law episode seven all of them again just better and better and better <laughs> <clears throat> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Super. A, 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 A. Get it. Too good. A. That's my other little baby that I want to put in my pocket. Get it. Y'all better find those cameras. This whole group, superstars. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like Camden is a. Mm -mm, my look, look, little. Mm -mm. Come on, tones. I can't even talk. Let me just shut up and watch the show. Hey. Yes, moments. You see that? Come on, props. Like, they gave you everything. Yes. Energy and tension. Oh my god. What? Clean. Hey, get it, get it, get it. Mm. Hey. Yes, 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 yes. Hey. Yes. Beautiful. They all have so much charisma. I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. This performance is so good. This shit is so good. They said cat, cat, cat. Stupid. Stupid good. Look at them. All of them. Charisma. Damn. Okay. This is such a good performance. Mm. What I was going to say, Camden gives me like my love, like undercover energy. There's something about him that, like, he doesn't fully stand out to me right away. But then I see him perform and I'm like, whoa, he's so good. His performance, like his choreography, his performance quality, the, like, energy that he has and the charisma that he has. And then his vocals, too. Like, those rap vocals were so strong. They're all so good. What am I going to do? What am I going to, and this is dumb that I'm this stressed out because I'm months late. Like, it's already done, Khadija. Let it go. But I'm just, ugh. 
they're all so good. Men in Love performance is next. Oh. The like, the pride that I feel watching them like come together and put it together. Look at that face. And this is another one. I think before episode seven, I didn't even know Terry existed, to be honest. Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He sounds good. He's so cute. Like, are you kidding me? He sounds like he has been singing ballads for the last 40 years. He's adorable. I cannot, I cannot. This sounds great. Look at his face. Look at that little face. Beautiful. <laughs> Give us dynamics. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's fun, right? This moment is so much fun. Cute. A little interaction moment. Oh, so good. <laughs> Too cute. Oh, I love them. Killed it. Yeah, you did. Hi. <laughs> I did a good job. Yes, you did. Oh, right? Right? That whole performance. And that was like, I love a well-staged performance. You see it too with the Tomboy performance. Oh, I have so many things to say about Tomboy. But that, from the lighting to the staging, starting off with them all standing at mic stands, just kind of singing ballad. And then the rappers come up and they do their like little solo moments. They come forward, they go back into the thing. And then you have the big moment where the two sing, two vocalists are doing the harmony together and they pull their mics off the stands and they turn to face each other. And then everybody comes forward and the lighting changes and you get sparklers and they're all like having fun and vibing. And you see the audience, all the light sticks are going like it again, from beginning to end, you're getting a shift in your emotions that by the end of it, you feel like this euphoria, they have created an emotional experience and it was so good. I'm getting excited. Y'all, I love music so much. <laughs> I love that performance. I love it. And I think they all sounded phenomenal. And I love how like, I don't know, watching the whole like, ooh, are they gonna get it together? And then they get it together and you just feel so proud of them. <sighs> love it. Oh, speaking of, are they gonna get it together? Next is Rush Hour. Holy drama. That was so dramatic. Oh my gosh. And like, we're proud of them for getting it together, but like, they almost didn't get there. <laughs> I have, oh, what is happening? Computer's annoying.
if we see reality show create rivalry, that one boy. Hey, come on. I love Ricky. <laughs> I love Ricky so much. And he performs so well. Oh, this is the thing. Get it. Hey. Oh, I just feel for them so much. I was like, the way they struggled to get it together. Like, my man was crying, and now look at him on stage. Hey, hey. Get it, get it, hey. They look good. Oh. Oh, they look good. Get it. Hmm, Ricky. Hey. Cute. There you go. Hey. <laughs> he got there. Yes. Okay, okay. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Unreal. Unreal. I've said it. I said it in what reaction was that? The rise reaction. But like some people are just handsome like vampires. Ricky is just handsome like a vampire. It is what it is. I'm not going to explain it. He's just handsome like a vampire. Yeah, that's a really good. So again, I'm in love with Ricky, aren't we all? Hi, by the way. I don't know who's here. If people are watching, you want to say hi, say hi. I'm not looking at the chat, so I don't know who's here. But yeah, that performance, like there's a pride in me. Like, oh, y'all figured it out. You got it together. You look amazing. You sound amazing. Was it the best performance? Not really. Like a lot of the choreography, they weren't really together some of the rap vocals they were rushing a little bit whatever right some of those ad libs towards the end is kind of shaky not fully supported whatever but regardless i'm like that's a good performance like i'm proud of you <laughs> because it's hard it's hard working in a group working independently in a group where you like you have to kind of figure out together what's happening and especially when you don't really know each other, like you barely know each other. You've kind of been in this like pressure cooker of a situation for however long. And there's so much like, you know, after this performance, I might be going home. That's a lot of pressure for anybody. So like, I feel for them. I feel for them how stressed out they were and how they kept like butting heads over it. Cause I would be crying. I would be crying every day when, Hanbin was like, I'm going to be known as the crybaby of Boy's Planet. I was like, I feel that because that would be me. I would be the crybaby of Boy's Planet. Chelsea Streams, hi. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, next one was <gasps> Limousine. See, they just, they were all so good. Oh, this one again too, like that feeling of noticing people for the first time. When you start off with 99 boys, 
or however many boys there were actually there that we saw. It's hard to like really, really see people. And Christian in particular, before this, like he just was painted as such a like mean person. He called himself Napion Christian. Like he was like the bad guy. And then this performance, I feel like all three of them literally being seen for the first time, like, wait a minute, so talented. What the heck? The show's good, man. It's a really well done show. It's well produced. And I wish that first note, if that first note had been perfect, the performance would have been perfect. It's happening again. There we go. Like his tone is just, and he gives this artistry. Come on. Oh, I said I wanted to see the English translation of Jihu's parts too. Cause like, he put his whole heart into this performance. Nice. Again, staging, right? He sounds phenomenal. Like, <laughs> Jew is a star. Oh my God. Beautiful. Staging, right? That one spotlight, a quiet moment. Build, yes. Like Anthony sounds amazing. They all sound amazing. That's a moment for the audience, right? Everybody hands up, sing along. Deep Rage, hello. So good. Yeah, all three of them, maybe from maybe from the star level test, like I kind of remember Anthony in the first couple episodes somewhere in there and then i feel like i've seen a lot of like the kind of behind the scenes moments of them but not really seeing him as a performer as an idol in a way that like stands out that he was highlighted right literally jihu did not exist until this episode which is terrible because listen to him look at him like the performance was so good it was solid and again i don't know what the lyrics are for his little verse that he wrote but you know from everyone's reactions like he wrote fantastic lyrics that were heartfelt and it made you like feel for him and just all of it and christian like i said like he got such terrible edits that he looked like just the worst human being <laughs> before this but now i'm like wait he's a great performer like he sounds fantastic his tone i didn't even know that he had this like kind of raspy tone going on um and just that like i don't know he he ha he has he's very seasoned you can tell that he has been doing this forever and he has a lot of experience on stage that's what i'll say for him so i'm like it just it's it's really unfortunate that you have obviously very very talented idols 
you're gonna see a lot of sung hanbin and you're gonna see a lot of hotek and you're gonna see like the people who are fantastic and amazing you're gonna see them a lot because they're fantastic and amazing but there are so many others that are also fantastic that i don't know it just would have been nice to see more of them earlier on in the show ah uh, and now eliminations are gonna happen and like what's gonna happen um, anyway <laughs> stressed out okay next one is oh feel special this one if you've been watching with me if you were watching episode seven or you went and you watched it on patreon i've rarely felt so like angry watching reality tv before like i don't get i get kind of emotionally invested like i feel really happy or i feel excited or i feel sad but i don't get like irritated by stuff because i know how reality tv goes i know how editing goes i know how like whatever it's stupid but this one made me so mad oh watching them practice and like putting it together i was getting so annoyed and then when the results happened and their points were released, I, I had to pause it. I was like, I need to, I'm, we can't watch anything else because I need to have this emotional reaction. I was so mad, but I will say I need to see the performance because the audience are the ones who vote. The audience doesn't know anything that happens in the background. All they see is what happens on stage. So maybe what happened on stage will justify the points that they got maybe but when you have one person singing the entire chorus and nobody else is singing i feel like you gotta acknowledge that or something anyway anyway it made me mad <laughs> it made me mad i was so mad when i heard the results literally girls planet it was better in terms of screen time the top nine were not stable yeah i feel like boys planet like it was just so easy to know who some of the members that make it to the final group like right away which i don't know maybe it's just because they're super talented but whatever let's watch this performance Oh, superstar, look at you. Okay, so he gave beautiful performance, vocals shaky as fuck. Just being honest. <laughs> like, beautiful visually. And nervous, just nervous through the whole show. You make me feel special. Superstar! Woo! The whole chorus, y'all. The entire thing. So special. Oh, yeah. Poor thing. Look at his face. He looks so nervous. Are you barely moving? Oh, honey. Okay, you're charismatic. You're charismatic. I guess. No, he is charismatic. Hmm. <sighs> it hurts my feelings. So choreography wise, they do look really good and they are giving, yeah, you're giving some energy. I would love you too if I were in the audience. 
Come on, yeah. Why did you look so scared? Babe, you're on stage. <laughs> Performance wise, this is a good group for this song. <clears throat> They just, they all have the, like, pretty softness that works for male idols doing a girl group song. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Ah. It broke my heart. It broke my heart. And when I was watching episode seven, some people in the chat were like, the audience felt like Woongi was being selfish. He was being selfish because he sang the entire chorus. Like, he didn't want anyone else to sing and so they didn't like that which i get i guess i know that like k-pop fans when it comes to line distribution tend to feel very strongly so i get that it's just because i know it's just because i know what was happening behind the scenes it still makes me mad i'm sorry i'm still mad i'm gonna die mad about it um yeah performance wise the choreography looks fantastic all the vocals all the rest of the vocals woongi's vo vocals were solid everyone else were super shaky which happens, I guess. But choreography wise, performance wise, they did look beautiful. They did. I'm going to die mad about it. Anyway, next one. Not spring love or cherry blossoms. Oh, this one is so good too. And this is another example of the editing on the show really doing some people dirty. Like, Especially this one, like they showed the same clips over and over of like the shaky notes or the like over and over and over. So you kind of have this idea in your head that like, oh, they're not really great singers, which is so unfair. I think that sucks to go on a show like this and you have your one moment to like showcase yourself and that's going to set the tone. And then if you mess up, you make a mistake, you have a sharp note, you lose your breathing, whatever it is, then it's like they have the full right to just take that one little clip and play it over and over and over again forever. And that sucks. But this performance was like redemption times a thousand. It was so good. This actually might have been one of my favorite performances. Look at them. The staging on this was beautiful as well. It gave, look at that, look at this face. The only thing I do agree, people were saying, oh, so beautiful. This tone, this voice so when they're singing in a song that's placed chelsea good point placed in like a range that's really comfortable for their voices their tones are gorgeous cute so cute oh his tone is beautiful it's so warm he <laughs> cute <laughs> Hey. Take your time, guys. Lovely, though. Lovely tone.
Mmm, you sound so good! Oh, beautiful! He is just, he's R&B, you know what I mean? Beautiful. Oh. Gorgeous! So good. So good. They really did so well. They sounded amazing. Yeah, that was definitely one of my favorite performances of the whole show, which I did not expect. I think somebody was commenting when I was watching the episode that like Ichen has this beautiful voice, but he looked nervous on stage maybe or like there's something kind of in his energy that wasn't the whole performance had this really like open warm like smiling at the camera and looking out at the audience but he was kind of like in his own head and that was the literally the only thing about it that was like if he could have just kind of stepped out of his head a little bit then it would have been a perfect performance for me it would have been no no it's like just they sounded so good all three of them sounded so good Good. I love it. And I feel like Doha in particular, that just warm tone. I can't get over it. I cannot get over. In my head, all I heard was him singing My House from episode one until now. <laughs> I had no idea but that tone was just and even his rap like he was a little bit rushing on the beat but his tone was so good gosh they're so good oh so many people are about to get eliminated I'm so stressed out about this I'm so stressed out about this all right y'all who's next butterfly is butterfly next I cried I cried when we were watching episode seven I was in literal tears during the butterfly performance and so pretty. I, look at this. Look at the set design, the stage. Those lights, the screens, it's just beautiful. Mm. He, his voice is just and his performance too everything about him Brian too this is a really good group oh this is a good group mm-hmm <laughs> yes, yes. Beautiful. I love Kong so much. Oh, sweet baby. Oh, sweet baby. The song is so pretty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. So pretty. Oh. Come on, nice slow moment. Nice. This is a great performance. He doesn't 
Bones down that. Mm. Gosh. Yeah, so pretty. Hmm. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh, wow. Hi. Oh, it's really pretty. The song is beautiful. Chelsea, to your point before, I think when they're doing girl group songs, they can transpose it down. But I don't know that they transpose other boy groups and i don't know why maybe they should maybe that's a fair thing to do because even there's nothing to say that like a girl group song is automatically going to be in a key that's difficult for them whereas a lot of these boy groups like i don't know men's are singing some real falsettos out here but yeah i don't know i don't know <laughs> but this one this one was like definitely a little bit high for all of them kong sounded beautiful beautiful just always but, and even Brian, actually, Brian also sounded really, really solid. Like, just nice, like, clear forward vocals. Everyone else, it was a bit high. It was a bit high for them, a bit uncomfortably high. They all got there. Junso did not sound as bad as the edits made it seem on the show, which, I mean, it was drama. It's drama. They're creating a story. But, yeah, I don't think he sounded... He probably was like more stressed out about it in his head than it actually came across on stage. Like he was a little bit sharp. He was. But it wasn't like, oh my gosh, you completely ruined the whole performance. Like it wasn't like that. Hmm. But it was a really beautiful. I think this one, definitely one of my favorites. I mean, the song itself is just kind of a favorite song because it's so pretty. But this performance, they did it really, really well. They transposed home. Hmm. Oh, they did, didn't they? So yeah, I don't know. Just put it in a lower key. Why are you guys doing this to yourselves? <laughs> Why are you doing this to yourselves? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I don't know if I'm ready for Tomboy, y'all. Um... This group is so good. It's unfair how good they are. And I kept saying that all throughout. I'm like, the way that these challenges, the missions go... Obviously, it's it's a survival show, so this is how it works. But I'm like, when you have the highest ranked members getting to choose groups with other highest ranked members, it's just going to be good. And all of the like drama around like, are we going to be good enough? And like, are we going to we're not meeting people's expectations? The pressure is so much because everyone expects so much from us. I was like, I feel that I get it. It is stressful, but also shut up you're amazing like even on your worst day you're amazing they are amazing and they're so good and they're so charismatic they have this like just killer stage presence and the vocals are solid and the staging for this one phenomenal when i talk about creating an experience like i'm not gonna break it down like i've already done this in my head a million times but just mic stands and then coming forward to do again it's kind of a pretty standard like formula but coming forward to do your little rap vocals or whatever choreography happening and like by the end they're hyped they're like jumping around the stage and the audience is screaming losing their minds like just so good and even all this energy 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 and then you slow it down and you give a little like off. it's so good it's so good. This performance is so good. Tomboy was my favorite performance. They embodied the concept, literally. They they embodied exactly what the song needed so perfectly. Gunwook has been my one pick since Wild Idol. Oh. See, I this is the first time I'm watching any survival show all the way through from beginning to end. So like this is my first experience and I know that a lot of the people who are eliminated from this show have like gone on to do other things and I'm really excited to see those. But now I understand when people like, as soon as a group debuts, you're already in love with them because you're like, I remember that guy from this show. Now I get it. Now I'm like, oh, 
I love this guy from that show. Though I guess I did have that feeling as well with Hui. From the first episode, I was just like, I want him, I want him to have everything he wants in life. I want him to do well on the show and I want him to be successful in every mission and I want everyone to vote for him because I love him so much. I've loved him from what? I discovered Pentagon in 2018. I've loved him since 2018. So I get that feeling actually, now that I think about it. Oh, I'm not ready. Yeah, like those pictures, beautiful. Like it's fun, it's playful, it's energy, vocals. What a superstar! Vocals. Mm hmm. Give me. He sounds so good. This little boy. Yes. Yes. And a little bit of rebellion. Mm, it's so good. Yeah, be the tomboy. Hotek is giving a lot of like just. Come on. Hey. Yes. <laughs> yes, dynamics. Yes, a moment. They sound so good. This is my attitude. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Fucking so good. Energy. They're like just giving artists, right? Rock stars having fun on stage. Hey, that's a moment. That's so cute. Mm-hmm. Hanman said, boy. They're stupid. I hate them. Oh. Stop. Why are they so cute? <laughs> They're so good. They're so good. Y'all, they are so good. That's it. There's nothing to say. They're like, there are no, there are no notes about this group. There's nothing to like, what feedback am I going to give? They sound amazing. They look amazing. They are performers. When I talk about being comfortable on stage, like just so comfortable, every movement, every look, every whatever, you can see certain things are like very intentional, like choreographed kind of moments. And then others are just whatever they felt in the moment. They're just having fun. But either way, it's done with so much confidence. They're superstars. The end. That's it. The end. They are superstars. Ugh. Okay, y'all. I'm getting stressed out because I do want to watch. I'm going to watch right now episode eight. We're going to get into the eliminations. But, um... Thank you all for watching. Thank you for anyone who is in the chat right now who's been watching live with me. This is a lot of fun. If you 
have not been watching on Twitch with me, come follow me on Twitch. We can watch episodes together. I'm watching the rest of the season. So we have a few more episodes to go. I'm watching all of those live on Twitch. So you can watch with me. You can be in the chat. We can have conversations. If you do not get to watch live with me on Twitch, then full episodes are going on Patreon. So follow me over there and you can watch all the episodes. Go back and binge watch the first seven episodes before we get to episode eight if you want. And other than that, I I appreciate you all so much thank you for being here comment down below tell me your thoughts which performance was your favorite which idols are your favorite who are the ones that are standing out to you again i know i'm really late so everybody already knows who's been eliminated and who hasn't but still put your thoughts in the comments down below and that's it i will see you all next time thank you for being here bye